Hello folks, and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party, and let's play Life is Strange Episode 3. I'm actually picking up right after I left you guys in Episode 2. So let us continue. Let's in see the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! They called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. Tongue record? And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. That's Let's significant. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey. It's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You Why are you wearing a girl's Rachel? bracelet? Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> what are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything. <laughs> there was no scheduled. eclipse scheduled today. It's ahead of schedule. All right. So William must be significant. She did say William, right? Her Chloe's dead dad. I feel like that's significant because of all the things to have picked up for like a follow up or a refresher. Why that? I feel like that's going to be important in this episode, at least. And to show what a huge dork I am, it's actually 30 minutes until New Year's. So, uh, yeah. And I'm sitting here playing this game with you guys. What a cool guy. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have it any other way, though. I I used to do the party thing, and... I mentioned this before, I think, in one of the other videos, but... Kind of not really my thing anymore. I remember I actually did go to a party. Like, I mean, this was still a long time ago, but it had been like a year since I'd been to a party. And I was like, oh yeah, I got an invite for tomorrow. Like, it's been forever since I've been. I can't wait to get back in this. And I went and I just kind of looked around and I saw the same people getting drunk and doing the same stupid shit and making idiots out of themselves. I'm like, um, okay, I think I'm done. And that was actually the last, last party party that I went to. I'm sure that's super interesting. Oh, hey, we have uh, Kate's bunny. She probably Kate. can't take care of her right now. I said to show you, meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in here now. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Bye, bunny. Oh, no, 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 no. Kate, no. No. Ah, oh, for God's sakes. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. Oh, God. All right, you better not become emo. You better not. I don't have the patience for this. Ooh. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Yeah, it's not like you can't show this to the damn principal, but I'm sure him being a dickwad would just be like, ah, who knows who it's it could have been. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically <laughs> pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. Yeah, she looks freaking thrilled. Maybe that's her version of happy. But seriously, keep calm and carry on? Ugh, God. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Jesus, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. 
All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. What? There was a two-day break between... Or a one-day break between watering. Come on. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Don't Are overfeed the bunny? bunny. Here, not on this. Oh, God, no. Uh, we'll leave the light on so somebody thinks we're in here. Can we lock the door this time, too, maybe? <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Uh, Alright, that's everything. Let's check our photos, of course. What do we got? Uh, okay. A vanishing... Barbie doll with a gun. Squirrel with some lightning bugs. And a aqu Ooh, the aquarium. And dope smoke. And a bird. Alright. I'll forget all that. But let's, oh, let's, let's use a laptop. See, there's anything new here. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Wow. Now she has another video of herself all over the web, and even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. <laughs> I know, right, Jesus. Elton Kesey, 2001. Melissa Lee Grayson, 1997. Winston Smith, 1984. Sunshine Ray in 1973. Hmm. I sure Sunshine hope these people Ray. Her better when she comes back to school, if she does. Ah, oh, sending love to Kate. We love you, Katie. Hope you feel better. Father Lamont, Alyssa. All right. Well, nobody's being a dick, Either at least. I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Max Power. Watching you walk down with Kate from the roof was the greatest thing. All right. Good. Now I've got people on my back. Talking about Kate now. And Black you. Black might as well shut down for the next month. There's oh. been so much going Oops. on. I almost Sorry. forgot about the eclipse. Damn it. But yes, I want everybody on my side so that when I call in my army to bring down Victoria and this Nathan Dickwad, they'll be there to answer to my beck and call. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Alright, seriously, it's not like... What does it say? I guess I could do this. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame the fearful symmetry? Blake for Kate Marsh. Oh, well, that's nice. Missing person post. I mean, I guess I could keep looking at these. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? The Forks. Oh, what a shitty band. We'll wait for Kate. Brooke. But, but okay. That was strange. Wherever you go, there I am. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Of course it is. Fuck Victoria. So much hypocrite. Yeah, I know, right? Fucking half these assholes are the ones, the reason she's fucking having such a hard time. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. No balls allowed. <laughs> okay. I feel like you're guiding us along. But where? I love you, Mom. What? Whoa, hey, what are you doing in here? Butthole. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I 
You should believe it. She almost jumped because you and everybody here bullied her. What? You're like blaming me? As a matter of fact, yes. Then just get out of here. Like, stop fucking with me. I've got my own family shit to deal with. I'm done for the day. We might actually stick with that, but I want to see what the other one is. Let me get information Thanks. out of her, if at all possible. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Ah, uh, no you're not. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Well, well, well. Where did she go? My lips are like sealed. Or Victoria will seal them for me. No doubt. Answer me! Yes. I like to think of it when I'm holding my hands up like the reverse time, I'm also controlling her with my dark power. Max. I'm using my power for good. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. I, like, really do need to get some sleep, Max. Yes. Yes! Fall into my clique. I will rule this school, you sons of bitches. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. She's gonna feel particularly shitty when I bury her alive in a coffin. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. That's what we're doing. Shit. We're getting allies, we're building our army, we're building a plan, and we're gonna take her ass down. We've got this. You and me, Max. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Mm. Hey, Dana. Better than... I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Kate was serious, but it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has some... It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. What? Victoria... Not me. All right. I want to see what happens hey, when Dana. we talk about blaming Victoria. Kate. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved. 
like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. Yes. I didn't do enough to let the up. hate flow through you for serious payback. Yes. In other words, revenge. Yes. So what exactly are you? Feel the power of the dark side. <laughs> I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. We. I'm getting scared now. All right. What? Victor. Not me. Yes. The pieces of the chessboard move. Things look good for Max's game. Laptop. Yeah, you've done it multiple wow. times. Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day. Glad that swap Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I would just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate. You've been so good for me when everything else is so fucked. Thank you for thinking of me. Max did more than anybody to save Kate, and I don't even think they're BFF. So happy you're thinking about me. All right. Dreaming of you tonight. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Wait, what? Dana, I hope you're okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper. I want to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient. Hi, Julia. I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm still a little shaken up. I don't think you get too many answers so soon after what happened today, and maybe it's better to keep a low profile. Kate deserves some privacy. All right. Some of the names are still kind of like starting to. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Some of the names getting uh, getting them mixed up. How are people keep changing their rooms around? Like it's been a few hours. Like where did I get that stupid, fucking, generic basic ass rug? This is both sad and pathetic. But yet she still has that trash in the trash can. Stuff. That is so damn cute. How much oh. Dana is into this Halloween party. Okay, so again. I want to pay attention to what order they're in. So, statue, fish, squirrel. Squirrel's almost certainly going to be outside, I would imagine. No money, no money. But, fill something. I heard something in there. I heard something. Stella, Kate, just want you to know you're in our thoughts. No comment. I guess not. You know what? Me. You know it's sincere because they have the emoji there. <laughs> it's funny how like they change the posters and shit. And again, it's not even been twenty four hours. I've got this new rug. Because it makes it definitely makes it sound like it's like that night. Like the the eclipse so just happened. For me in front of the main hall. So, look around first, and then go to the main hall. Everywhere I go, I can see how I'm altering history. Big and small. Ah, that's the broken window. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Relax. Rachel owes me money. Apparently she still owes her money. It'd probably be better to go to either Rachel or a collection agency. The tree's not going to help a hell of a lot. Shall we reflect on things? I feel so... giddy. Even after Kate almost jumped. Oh. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. <laughs> and then the uh, the moon presence comes down. Oh, Jesus, no. Let's grab the picture of this motherfucking squirrel. Nope, you son of a bitch. Get your ass back here. I'm going to get that fucking picture. You little shit. Aha! Look at the lens and say nut. Owned. Gotcha. Owned that damn squirrel. So we get that one. Oh god, let's see what's in Samuel's room. Oh, god, I'm terrified. Locked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Yeah, I feel that way most of the time, actually, even when it's daylight. 
Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nothing but tools. Odd that there's nothing but tools in the little toolbox. Nothing here. You take that axe again. Girl stuff. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Uh, maybe take that? And see if that's not Rachel Lambers? Have, a uh, Chloe look at it? Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? He's probably more into girls wearing runway fashion than runway fashion per se. Um, I feel like there's more in here. Tool drawers. The other tools. Alright, I feel like there's nothing else in here. Is he gonna be, like, outside? Okay. Thought he'd be, like, right next to the door or some shit. Hello, totem. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. I really want to figure out what this is. So, the squirrel, at least as far as we know, is the first one. And it was way over there. Hmm. I'm really trying to figure out what that could be. It's like it's... The lines make it look like it's either glowing... Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Hmm. That's sticking out to me for some reason. But yeah, the lines coming out from whatever that is make it look like it's either glowing or it just vanished. Prison oh. Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Back that ass up. Are you drunk off your ass, seriously? I'm just manually doing it here. Whoa, okay. Wow, that was weird. He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Max the Ninja strikes again. <laughs> Should have took a picture of him of drunk, drunk off his ass, which I guess it's hard to take a picture of somebody drunk off their ass. Well, I guess it depends. Damn it, I have a feeling I've already missed like one of the pictures. I at least want to get that first one. I had some. Booyah! Oh god. Get it? Boo yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved her. Inappropriate use of balls to the I wall. I didn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. 
Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just... Don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? That light just We're went out. To win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Don't you uh, game? Lit? That? Don't? Mm -hmm. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully, the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... I only was trying to threaten you! Are you fucking kidding me? I've heard of shit like that happening, too. Which is always a bummer. See, damn it, Thug, let me rewind. But I thought so it wasn't, stupid. so I mostly chose things that I wanted. Just when I think Victoria can't get oh. any more evil. Happy New Year, by the way. Well, let's go find out. I can tell because the fireworks just went ape shit in my neighborhood. And distracted me from what was going on. Damn. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. You are the master of lockpicking. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? We get charges for just entering. I have found out that technically doesn't we can matter. Go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Damn it. Still kind of wish we could rewound that one conversation, but all right, it'll, so I don't think it's a big deal. shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday? <laughs> Prescott power. I'm just taking a quick peek around. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Ah, oh, we can't go in the men's bathroom? First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. I don't know about all that. <sighs> Damn it. 
We're gonna miss all the photos. I just know it. Oh, we can get the aquarium in here. Smoking equals death and bird, maybe. Not that it matters. If you don't get them all, then it doesn't matter. Does A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Oh, nice. Helped him with his grade. Ass biology. Oh, gross. <laughs> What? The colon isn't, isn't so exciting for you kids? Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, Bish Fish. Ah, oh, you bitch! Ah, oh, what time is it? What the hell? Come on, lady! Oh, get not right now! My hair's not done! Ah! Oh. Rude! Fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. Turn that off. The less evidence, the better. You know, if we actually hurried and got the evidence, the really cool thing is that we could rewind time before we came in, and then there would be like no fingerprints or anything, right? I mean, he's only. The other thing that I don't like is he probably has cameras and shit in here already. So, yeah, I mean, I guess we don't know that, but I guess no. Let's see what we can find in here. I feel silly thinking of myself as an everyday hero for helping Kate. But it's cool that other people do. Now if I could only find Rachel. Yeah, that, that looked kind of like that, right? That's why- oh, no, it didn't at all. Alright. So we need to find, like, a no-smoking sign, too. Oh, hello. Damn it. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? It helps when they're an utter Didn't bitch. Didn't a better illustrator than photographer? <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. Oh, I was hoping I could do something with them. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Hmm. Well, that had nothing to do with the cigarette thing. Probably. I'm maybe sort of kind of going to give up on the photos thing. Maybe. Because like I said, I feel like we've already missed at least one of them. I feel like we would have found it already. Given where it was. Uh, I want to do another quick look around. Nope. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Because I feel like there should be more in here. Wait, what? Contest pictures. Okay, I thought it said something different. I thought it just said pictures before, but I think the word was like covered up or something. All right, printer, don't care about tape, some posters and shit. There was this picture over here we looked at before. That was amazing when Mr. Okay. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. All right, let's get out Even of here. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. All right. Let's head back down. Look for any no smoking type pictures. Oh, see, there's a don't smoke. Damn it. Ah! I feel like you're guiding us along. How? Where? How is she guiding us along? So glad you still have your locker, Kate. 
check the lockers. There's mine, isn't it? The red one? No. I actually it might be. We Chloe's just... waiting for me in front of the principal's office. Yes, I know. Get off my ass. Me. That's the science class where we've already been in. All right, all right. Mm, very quick sweep out here. Yeah, now everybody's like, hey, let's stop bullying because some girl just about tried to kill herself because you assholes. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. All right, let's go. All right, let's go, 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 go. Wait, what? I was like, I thought I saw something. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Dear Mrs. Michelle Grant, as head of security, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the city body. I know I'm nobody's favorite. I'm, I'm not anybody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure the safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves. I respect your position as science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plan for surveillance. Uh, with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this petition and consider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell with the latest. <laughs> cowardly. May, you know, your chances were low to start with. When you threw in cowardly petition. Yes, Max. That Just probably... The hallway. Forget about the principal's office. Relax. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. I'm trying to look at it. Oh, it's got the... Stupid ear thing. Ooh, hello. More keys. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost his beret. I bet he's cute. Ugh, god damn it. Max, for God's sakes. Every time I find something to like about you, you do say something like that. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is nah? <laughs> Alright. A fan for some parts that I can use back at the settlement. Oh wait. All right. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit. Like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lock picking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key. Just in case. Why, yes, I could. Ten. I don't know if you can hear the fireworks. I don't think the mic would probably pick that up. It could. Nothing here. Oh, paperwork, but... Most of it's probably not interesting. Yeah, these definitely don't seem like... Typical key Boring. places. But I'm just gonna check them in order. I'm gonna guess what's his face might show up here shortly. Oh well, yeah. Here's all the keys. Here are the keys. But <sighs> I was gonna say that would make a hell of a lot of me. sense. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. What? Hey Warren, you busy? What? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Ha! <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I need your nice. physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. That's like the height of not yes, smart I'm things. Still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. Yes. Yes, use him to get what we need. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Huh. <laughs> Alright. 
so he gave me the directions. I just want to double check over here. All right. Wait, what? Squirrels like nuts. Oh. Does that mean Samuel is? Never mind. Nah. Wait. No, there's the sugar that we need. Ooh, sugar. Da 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 da. All right. Let's see. What is he saying we need? Uh, keyword is try about here. Wait, wait, what? Are you really gonna try this? Oh, whoa. Sugar, soda can, duct tape, and sodium chloride. Only three more items to go. Alright. I remembered seeing soda as one of them. Duct tape and sodium chloride. Warren is right. such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. No can here. Damn it. Surely there's gotta be one. Nope. Doesn't anyone I know. Drink sodas here? Ridiculous. I don't want to use a soda machine for reasons I can't quite put my finger on. How you run so goofy. Nothing in it. They must have just cleaned out the trash or some shit, damn. I have a feeling we're gonna have to do that drinking fountain thing. Gross. Damn it. Nothing here. Are you kidding me? Come on. We're in a high school. People <laughs> we live on soda when it was in high school. Empty. Come on. I know! This is ridiculous. I really want to try to find it somewhere else. Nothing. This is so lame. I know. This is totally the lamest, dude. My hello, fellow children. My fellow children. Shit. Alright, let's check the science. Actually, you know what? Let's check this room, because there was nothing that useful in here. So I'm wondering if this is where it, maybe we can find one. Oh, it's it, it's oh the duct tape. A horror film. I remember the duct tape is in here. That's right. I mean, if I'd have known this, I'd have talked to, you know, her first. The tape is mine. Chloe, that is. You're halfway home, Max. But there's no trash cans in here. Damn it, Warren, what? You still there? Did you blow up? Max? Still there, didn't blow up. Not yet. I need to concentrate. Talk to you later. Fuck off, Warren. All right, well, there's no trash cans in here. None by the door, which is where you would think they would be. We could throw things out as they're moving out, but no, no. So we need the sodium chloride and the can. Now, see, here's the other problem. is It's gonna be, like, if it's gonna damage the, um... If it's gonna damage the lock, then it's gonna be 100% obvious we were in here, which we don't want. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Oh, uh, why? Why would he bother to tell you that? You're weird. Anyway. I never said they were great, troll. <laughs> Again, these people, like, I mean, when I went to school and stuff, there was graffiti all over the place, but god damn. These people are just like, go out of the way to just write shit everywhere. Change the grade. Uh, we're not gonna do that. We don't wanna- the less chance of us getting caught, the better. A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. Alright. Where can I find you? Oh, here we go. No, this mixture doth not work. Nope. Also again, nope. Ah. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Ah. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You're gonna drop it, you're gonna drop it, you're gonna you drop it. You're clumsy, Max. Ha! Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Ha! 
That was, uh, that was fairly clever. I'll give you that one. All right. Well, Only shit. One more ingredient left. Yes. I'm gonna have to... None of these trash cans had shit in them. So I guess we are gonna have to go buy a drink and then drink it. I really don't like this plan. I feel like this is gonna leave evidence. And I feel like we're probably not great at hiding it. That it's gonna be us. Release the crack can. Oh god. You're such a doofus. It's all mine anyway. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Uh god I'll slam you on the locker. No fucking puns. Or I'll punish you again. Alright, let's see. Get that ass in gear. Oh, that's four. Uh, where is that little shithead? Alright. So we- oh god, your drawing is awful. Um, we... Wrap up the can. So where do I do this? Looks like we put the sugar and then in the whatever in there. Wrap it up, and then I don't know. Let's go talk to Chloe, maybe. Because I figured we'd do it in the lab, but maybe not. Take Pipe bomb. The door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up. Yeah, this seems uh really dumb. If you light the candle, I guess we could blow it up. So cool. We could blow it up. Get ready to haul ass. I could go in there and check, and then rewind. Theoretically, but I feel like that's not what's gonna happen. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Check in here fast. And then we will, uh, rewind time. Obviously, I feel like we're about to get a snag, though. Hello, his computer. Um... There's, like, nothing... ...here of interest so far. Yeah, I was about to rewind time anyway, like, while I was in here. Oh, this is before sh Oh, okay, she hasn't even blown it yet. Ah, okay, I gotcha. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Ha! Oh, this is bullshit! Fuck you, door! <laughs> I was kind of thinking about this, too, but... Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. Hmm. Don't turn that lamp How on, fool. How can you somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly-ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. Would you, uh, work on your shit? Maybe turn that light off as well? This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Alright, yeah, that was pretty neat, uh, how you blow it, and then, like, go inside, and then, like, catch her outside. I just want to see if you knew explosives, and to see your incredible artwork. Huh. Private number. Oh, there's another message. Keep your blah blah. Hey, horror Nazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Oh, I'm terrified. Mom, call you back in a few minutes. Thanks for letting me gush over my Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're so proud. So we're proud to milk the moment. Let us know if you want to 
come up for a quick wedding. Yeah, if I want to get a quick getaway, I want me to my parents' house. No, don't turn the light on. I have a feeling it's going to make me turn the light on so that I can see. Yeah, alright, let's turn it on. Because there's papers here. Yeah, see. We got their phone! This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. All right, this is obviously important, so let's read this. GPA 3.9, nah, not too bad. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding, along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program. See, man, there's so many like references to Twin Peaks because uh, uh, the main girl who got killed in Twin Peaks was in the Meals on Wheels program. Uh, anyway, her extra curricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on K-Bay K -Bay 7 News, and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne Marie Baranchi. Update. At present time, there's a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded on the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, consent along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during a party. See the attached files for complete details. So he knew something was up and he wasn't doing shit. Fucking asshole. Only two more files to go. Oh, so I guess we know exactly how many files there are. Wow, sir. This will so not come in handy. <laughs> Thanks, smartass. I'd drink too Ooh. if I was the principal of Blackwell. <sighs> And nothing here. What else can we find? Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Oh, snap. All right, so let's read all this. Student up information sheet, Rachel Dawn Ember. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Brief summary, Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies in extra extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular in both with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do for now. Thank you for your help. Hmm... Officially Man, closed, I don't eh? I blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Now we'll read this one. Uh, Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite our best efforts of the faculty and administrative to guide administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chose to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Yeah. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. 
Yeah, I'm sure. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representative of Blackwell. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. <laughs> of course. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates, and she has acknowledged that she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints com- though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. so but this is common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there's an ongoing police f- f- uh, facility faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. Uh, Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria has received higher marks, high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Uh, 4.0 GPA, of course. Warren's considered an ex- exemplary student, represents a long tradition of excellence. Every student represents Blackwell Academy, apparently. He has the gift of, or curse of gab, depending on the f- faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by a science teacher. We hope Warren focuses on an academic vision and continues toward his bright future. Okay. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. All right, so I am actually going to look at this. Looks like an oil paintings bill. <laughs> Awful. All right, we're going to look around real quick. All right, so I'm actually going to stop there. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave comments in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.